Hello friends, welcome back to Punjabi Mom Cooks. Today I am going to make Ras Malai, a lovely dessert. And let's start with the ingredients. I have got some mixed nuts over here. I have got some whole milk. I have got homemade paneer which I have nicely mashed uh, and made it very smooth. I have got some sugar. I am going to use some corn flour and I am going to use some uh, cardamom powder that is elaichi powder. And friends, I have taken 200 grams of uh, paneer and I am going to put 1 spoon of corn flour inside it. 1 tablespoon of corn flour and I am going to completely mash it using my hands. And then just keep it here and keep with your hand keep mashing it nicely making it very very smooth friends have a look I have made it so smooth can you see how nice it is literally it's melt it's like melting in your mouth it's like that and now at the same time I have on the water as well for boiling I'm going to take a little spoon of my uh, cheese and just make it a little make a round and then just flatten it look it's not sticking in my hands and how nice it is very smooth you have to make sure there are no cracks if there are cracks then it will when you put it in the water it's going to spread all over so you have to be very very careful there are no cracks friends have a look I made six ras malais and I'm going to put two spoons of sugar in my water one and two and we have to make sure we have to put the ras malais very slowly otherwise they'll break and gently put it in friends have a look I have put all of them inside except for one I put one is left it doesn't matter I'll, I'll do it later and now I'm just going to cover it with the lid for 20 minutes friends I'm going to turn on my gas I'm going to add one glass of milk this is whole milk and I'm going to add one more and then you have to condense the milk and make it into one glass friends it's been 20 minutes now have a look it's uh, become nice they have become nice and big I'm going to turn off my gas and let it cool down completely and at this point can you see my milk it's condensed so nicely and I'm going to add in some turmeric powder you can add in a uh, yellow color as well or you can add uh, saffron leaf, saffron as well I'm putting some uh, cardamom powder that is lychee powder and I'm going to put some mixed nuts inside it Normally people put saffron inside it, but I am uh, putting uh, turmeric powder. Friends, look, it's boiled nicely. I'm going to turn it off now and let it cool down completely. And then I'm going to add in the rasmalai. Friends, I have removed my rasmalai out and I'm going to add my... This is warm at the moment. So I am going to put this in first If you want it more thick you can make it more thick but this is how we eat in our house And I am going to put this slowly inside and after 6 hours I will show you how big they become Don't put it in the fridge you have to uh, leave them out Otherwise they will become too hard and they won't taste nice 
so i always leave them out and after it cools down completely after 6 hours then you can leave it in the fridge then you can put it in the fridge but not straight away because now i'm going to cover it and i'll show you after 6 hours how they look and how big they have become friends is been 6 hours now and let's look at our rasmalai have a look how big they have become wow i can't believe this and i have made this specially for madhvi it's her birthday today so i'm going to break it oh look at that how soft this is wow and i'm going to taste it happy birthday madhvi mm now you can keep it in the fridge i want to have one more bite wow mm absolutely it's made my day so soft and spongy look at this look wow i can't believe this wow it's so nice i hope you're going to try it thank you for watching